So today we are going to talk about wounds and wound healing. Hello everyone, my name is Kim. I am a registered dietitian nutritionist, a certified diabetes educator, a nutrition support dietitian, and owner of KimRoseDietitian.com. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to talk about wounds and wound healing. So the skin is the largest organ in the body and wound healing is a very complex process. So there are two types of wounds. There's an acute wound and a chronic wound. An acute wound is something like a scrape or a cut or a skin tear and even surgical incisions and chronic wounds are wounds that have not healed in a 12 week period. So you can see from these two definitions why I said a dietitian will encounter a wound at some point in their training or even career because a scrape or a cut or a surgical incision is considered to be a wound. So wound healing occurs in stages and adequate nutrition is necessary for that wound to heal. So what we're going to do, we're going to look at a few different things which are needed for wounds to heal properly. And the first thing that we're going to look at is energy. So adequate energy requirements are needed for collagen synthesis, anabolism, and also cell metabolism. So it's a common fact in the dietetics community that energy needs should be individualized for every single client or patient that you see with a wound. But as a general rule for adults who may be at risk for malnutrition, the average energy requirement is anywhere between 30 to 35 kcal per kilogram of the body weight. The next thing that we're going to look at is protein, protein requirements. So protein is necessary for growth and repair and there are various studies which state you should give this range of protein for wound healing. But in the case of a wound for that wound to heal properly, you will need between 1.2 to 1.5 grams per kilogram of that body weight. And of course, protein needs should be individualized as well. So what I mean by individualized, if you have a patient that may be on dialysis or they may have some type of other disease that is catabolic, protein requirements can definitely exceed that 1.5 grams per kilogram body weight. The next thing that we're gonna look at is fluid requirements. So hydration status is very important for wound healing as well. It helps with skin turgor, it can prevent breakdown in the skin, and it also helps oxygenate the skin as well. So dietitians, a part of our profession, um, encourages us to do nutrition-focused physical examinations. So part of the nutrition-focused physical examination is monitoring hydration status. So dietitians, for the lab work to monitor hydration status, you want to monitor the serum sodium, you want to monitor the osmolality, and also the color of that urine. So there are a variety of approaches used to calculate uh, the fluid requirements, and one of these approaches is the Holiday-Seeger equation. So again, the Holiday-Seeger equation is just one of the many equations that are used to estimate the fluid requirements. So we looked at the energy, we looked at the protein, and we looked at the fluid needs for individuals that have wounds. So now let's look at a little closer detail of the vitamins and minerals. Let's look at vitamin A to begin with. So vitamin A is a fat-soluble vitamin that is important in immune function, collagen formation, and also protein synthesis. So while vitamin A is thought to have a benefit to healing wounds, it should be noted that the research in this area is lacking, but is thought to have some benefit. The next vitamin that we are going to look at is vitamin C. So vitamin C is a water soluble vitamin. Unlike vitamin A that is a fat soluble, vitamin C is water soluble. So vitamin C is important for tissue repair as well as regeneration. A vitamin C deficiency can definitely um, impair proper wound healing. So the next thing that we're going to look at is zinc and zinc is a trace mineral. Zinc is important for cell replication as well as growth. 
So some individuals will say, okay, for a person that has a wound, they may need 220 milligrams of zinc on a daily basis or maybe even twice a day for that wound to heal. But the exact amount, the exact milligrams needed for wound healing has not been established. But what is known is that zinc, vitamin C, vitamin A does have an important role in wound healing. So guys, this was all the information that I have for you at this time in regards to wound healing. For those dietitians that are watching this, if you have any other information that you want to add, please go ahead and do so in the comments section below. Or if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to do so. As usual, remember to comment, like, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.